welcome to my <laughs> new segment there's good stuff in fighting games um this week i had the pleasure of doing some commentary for the strive beginners bracket which uh takes place over on sejam's discord and uh, that was a lot of fun um shout outs to solid bones who was uh one of the uh evo commentators that was uh doing stuff for strive and uh yeah we did some co-commentary over uh their weekly uh tournament and they have a really smart setup i gotta say like uh it's the type of thing that you know um yeah it's 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 the type of thing that like would i'd love to to have or run something like this for just like letting new players have a place to glow, grow and flourish, you know. But uh, it's a beginner's bracket, right? So they what they do is they run uh, people who want to play some Guilty Gear Strive that are uh, okay. So they they check you your um, your profile out to see like uh -huh. what level you're at with your characters. Okay. So you, you mentioned beginner's bracket. My first question is, how do you make sure, like, super freak smurfs aren't sneaking their way in? Well, the first level of defense is that there's a range, right? And you also have to... You can't be... Uh, there's, a, there's a level of minimum prowess also needed, right? Like, if you're at floor one or two, like, just learning to press buttons, it, it like, they're, they're kind of seeing if you can, like, kind of get past that initial phase of just like learning how the game works you know <laughs> this image in my head of playing a game against sage and blunt yeah okay you're trash you can you can play <laughs> good i've con i've confirmed that you are trash <laughs> so <laughs> what they do is they they basically make sure that you're you're not too high up in your levels with any other character on your on your list and it's generally it's generally people who are around floors 9 and 10 that like aren't really cracking celestial you know um 99 of people who play guilty Gear there's a lot of people there's a lot of people there and the journey up to that eighth or ninth floor you know can go quickly if you sort of are you go train a little bit and learn uh, learn how to do some cheap stuff you know so but that that's yeah there's a lot of people there that like really want to feel that improvement and have put the, uh, some time in you know so um it's it's a and it's also like it's a great level of strength for like um for showing off like i guess the way i put it in like dark souls terms is like different builds where if somebody has like no offense uh um like no faith or whatever but they've got a f stamina you mm -hmm. know or different things like that where you just see like okay different people have built up a basic game plan they don't have the full thing and sometimes someone will be like yo that guy's way too good what's up with that and then they're way too strong to compete i mean what's up with that and then like they'll get hit by something do a bad burst and then you'll watch them melt into a puddle yeah that's that's my favorite i, I don't know what to call it but fake placement uh, a place that i have existed in in almost every fighting game at some state because i'm very aggressive Wow, this guy's really good. Yep, until it doesn't go my way once, and then I'm just going to completely fall apart like a child. Yes, as long as you're playing a one-player game where the opponent is not forcing you to do anything, you can look as stylish as you want to. But the moment you have to actually adjust to things, then it starts to fall apart. Um, and, and, you know, people who are generally uh, failing what I call the knowledge checks, right? Like... You can fight everybody who's willing to run up to you and punch you, but can you fight Axel, who's cool to just sit back there and never get in? Can I you think deal? My favorite recent knowledge check was when I was playing Street Fighter Six. I decided to play Ken last beta, and I got to enjoy the situation of I, I don't know what the properties on these Shoryukens are. Oh, which, which is the one that I use when when I'm being rushed down on the floor? Yeah, what's, what's, yeah, yeah, is it, yeah. Is it medium? It's usually medium. It's not. Me it, it, which they, one's throw invincible? Is it? Is it jab? I I want to say it's jab, but I don't know. So they've kind of gotten rid of those you know, those different states for the show use. FYI, like I think they're kind of universalized now into. Yeah, good. I know that. That's my whole point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now it's just ex invincibility or not type of thing. But um. Uh, so what happened is, so yeah, so Say Jam's Discord, they run this every week. They have a Guilty Gear Strive Beginners Tournament. And um, it's really cool because, so everyone enters. There's people that enter multiple times, you know, because your goal is to get to that top three. 
And the reward for getting third place, second place, or winning first is you get fucking banned from the tournament. Yeah! That's a great reward. You that is a great kicked reward. Get the fuck out. You've graduated. Get the fuck out of here. You're too good. <laughs> and you just stand on top of your metaphorical mountain and look down at everybody else in the tournament. You're all too weak for me now. It's awesome. It's such a smart idea. Again, shout out Solid Bones. Because what you end up seeing is people who get really... They start building their game plan. They improve a bit every week. They're not quite there yet, but they get to top eight. You know? And they're able to like push it, but they're uh, uh, fighting to get to that, that graduation seat. You know? Trying to get banned. And like when the menace of the current tournament eventually wins, they all get kicked out, and now three new people who have been struggling are now the dogs to beat, you know? You are now, you've been struggling, you're just like that, fourth place, you're now the strongest in the group, and people are now afraid of you, and your job is to see if you can make it out, you know? Exactly. It's it's such a great... Um, motivational tool you know and and uh yeah <laughs> I, have a, I have a question what's to stop somebody from getting to the quarterfinals and then just throwing it super hard right and so then, that they, so that they can stay in the beginners tournament and and so then improve and stomp on everyone i literally made that joke because we were watching a really a really fun uh soul player who was like doing some cool stuff and, and styling amazing conversions, full coast to coast, you know, east to west stuff. And we were like, yo, this dude's looking a little too nice here. Hold on a minute. And it's just like, he's probably thinking like Sh some random heavy mob cemeteries just to throw them off the scent. <laughs> you know, let's just do some wake up supers and see if they kind of go, oh, okay, no, no, wait, never mind, never mind. You know, oh, this, is, this is the quarterfinals. Oh, no. Oh, the pr the pressure. Oh, I'm, I'm choking. Uh oh. Oh, it's the pressure. Gets me every time. Oh, t what a bad burst. Um, no, <laughs> they, they have a. Um... They have a, 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 a sort of uh, judge's rule of like, yeah, if the commentators look and they see you just, you're a little too nice with it, they can kick you. The That's it. Like, they're like, nah, you're too good. <laughs> you know, um, if I see you running any like predict, any, any strong ass OSs, you know, um, the, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to raise an eyebrow. If you bait every burst, I'm going to raise another eyebrow. Did and this then, guy react know. and bust out his super in four frames? I don't know, man. Um, but, like, you can definitely see that people are nice enough to do their full combos, but not nice enough to uh, not drop them once every couple of matches, you know? And you're like, yeah, that's good. That's good. This is what it is, man. You know, so um, that was a fun time. And, uh, yeah, I, I really, again, shout outs to, to, to the, the Sagem Discord over there. Go, go check them out. And if you want to, you know, if you want to get yourself tested uh, right now, that's a healthy ass thing. It was a 64 man bracket. So lots of players. Um, real fun part of this, too, is like, you know, the healthier the game, the more of an interesting selection you're going to have. Right now, if you're talking about like, a game where people are all too good and you have a hard time jumping in online and just, you know, uh, uh, getting stomped on. This is a dedicated space for people growing and learning. And what you sometimes can see is in a tournament of, you know, beginning players, the high tier stuff isn't necessarily going to show up, you know? Um, the, the high execution, high tier stuff, the happy chaos uh, uh, stuff... You know, uh, or some of that crazy Jacko stuff. You're not going to really see that in these brackets. It's going to be a lot more like, you know, down to the basics. Here comes Sol. Here comes Kai. Here comes Potemkin. Who's got some good buttons? Let's see what you can do, you know? Um, so, yeah, uh, uh, that was a lot of fun. And I think uh, that's up over at, uh, I think, yeah, Twitch TV, Solid Bones. 